Hello. This is my third time recording this because the last time was fucking 20 minutes and the first time was me literally just testing out and just rambling. So let's try and condense this down into like maybe 10 minutes or something because holy fuck, 20 minutes is a bit too long. So my name is TM Craze and this is an this is an overview of the Helios Go XD5 from Fantech. So just a few basic things first, you know. It's a i3.0 clone. Down to literally everything, like the skate design and literally the fucking like thing here that protects the sensor. So you know, Fantech really just made a clone and nothing else. And the i3.0 shape is known for being like a chonky boy but this one isn't so chonky because as you can see if you've ever had a ia 3.0 this is very fucking small and you'll notice that my hands are actually kind of fucking small that's because my hands are 17 and a half by nine and a half centimeters so yeah so on to things that i really kind of don't like slash bothered me i mean preference thing first fucking dpi button i don't use it people some other reviewers were complaining about not having a dpi button but like i don't get it dude i fucking don't get it throw wheels kind of eh like the steps aren't really well defined and Sometimes it'll just, uh, it'll just creak. Like, I probably need to just lube this scroll, but Omega Lol, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a dumbass. And I don't know if I can really show it here, but the side, I don't have to put a lot of pressure in. Like, I'm not putting a lot of pressure in and it's flexing, right? Like, I don't know if I can really show this all that well. This is like the best example I can give. I don't know if you can see a difference, but it's flexing. It's not fun. And it like bothers me while I'm playing like Apex or, or Osu or CSGO or anything like that. But I don't, I'm not afraid that a little break. It's just fucking annoying. And then like. Initially, this little bump here that you can see with the reflection of my of the ring light is uh, what is it? It bugged me, but I got used to it because it's really cleverly designed. I noticed now, like, you know, when my thumb rests, I just go up here to hit it, and it's extruded out so it had hit it really easily. And then, you know, it's not that hard for me to go back, and that's all. That's also slightly extruded out, so it makes it easier to hit. It's just smart design, right? Uh, don't use. I don't use this. This is kind of useless to me, and you know sometimes I'll turn the mouse off, but don't really need to because it lasts for a long time. But it didn't really when I initially got and put on RGB because when you put on RGB, I'm pretty sure even on the lowest brightness setting. I mean, I was an idiot and had it on static at the highest, but, you know, we don't talk about that. It didn't really last me, like, a week. And it lasted me, like, what? Two days at most? Three, three days if I was really fucking lucky? But, it, like, once I turned off the RGB, it, like, it's fine. There's the there's the little strip here and there's the uh, Fantech logo there, but like, I mean, I could take off the strip, but it looks fucking weird. So, I'm not really doing that. And this currently has core pads on it because I originally had hyperglides on this, but I literally felt like I couldn't do anything. With it like let alone like stop it so that's why i have core pads and i had switched to the original uh stock feet back to the original stock feet until i got my core pads on my 
on my Hayate O2X soft here, like, you know, it's fast, but it, it stops, right? With the, with the hyperglides, it would have gone, like, it would have gone further. Like, it's a smooth glide, but it stops when I need to. Like, when I need to do this, it stops fine. I don't need it to be fast. I have hyperglides on... No, I actually have the stock feet on the school. Because I had hyperglides, but I fucked them up, and I don't really care enough to... Oh, what is it? Put on... Hyper... To, like, hi put on hyperglides, like... Okay. So, it turned off. But... We salvaged it. We have salvaged it. So... For the rest of this video, then... Because that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Because, I mean... The clicks are really fucking crispy. Like... The the 8.0s are implemented well. There's no... Oh, yeah, there's like... There's like some... Free travel? But there's no post travel. And same goes for the buns too, where like there's some pre travel, but it's not I'm i I've never really paid attention to post or pre travel because it it just fucking doesn't bother me. What bothers me more would be sensor position, but you know, it's fucking in the center, like like how can you go wrong with this? If it was like farther back or like farther up top, maybe a, I'd have like a problem with it, but it's in the middle. Like, what am I gonna fucking complain about with sensor positioning? Uh, Bad Tech also does the thing where it's like hidden behind a, where like one of the scrolls is hidden behind a speaker. I mean, speaker sticker and hidden underneath the two front skate, like hidden underneath mouse skates here, but. You know, every other company does that too, so it's kind of whatever. Uh, okay, I've gotten that out of the way, and so the last bit here will literally just me be me talking about how I hold the mouse and where it contacts, if that matters to you. Because maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. It's just an added thing I wanted to add, because after seeing Crafty Craft put it in, I, th I thought it'd be pretty neat because I have a fucking small hand right 17 and a half by nine and a half so you know why not right so as you can see I kind of hold the xd5 like in a tilt grip is what it's called basically it's it's basically like almost a normal palm grip but just tilted to the right slightly so that I can actually actually like accommodate the mouse so that's kind of what the ie 3.0 shape forces you to do is just tilt grip it which isn't a bad thing because when you tilt grip this this mouse like it feels great so when it comes to when it comes to the i well i almost said ie 3.0 when it comes to the xd5 as you'll notice from the right side here there's this kind of like low like er ergonomic like curve here that kind of shows through the reflection of the ring light it kind of it kind of goes starts like starts from like right here and then tapers inwards and when i put my hand on it it kind of rests over that which is which feels really fucking good and what's contacting is like this part like this this part right here and then what contacts for this finger is uh around like right here ish like that's what contacts my this part of the mouse and you know this this um, like yeah whatever the last thing I'd want to talk about is is my palm because it doesn't exactly actually hit my entire palm but it fills out most of it so that it feels pretty good so the, parts of, the part of my palm that it hits 
is like this part here, here, and most of like the top part here of my palm here. This actual middle part doesn't get touched at all, but it's not a big deal. And that's kind of all I want to really talk about. One more little small thing, I guess, is just that, like, please, if you ever make an XT5 V2, include an adapter because I had to buy a fucking adapter off of Amazon because, like, bro, I want to make the, uh, what is it, connection as close as possible and you're just not giving me the option to do so. This is an Amazon, this is an adapter off of Amazon for, like, 14 bucks. And, like, it fucking works well. And, yes, it can get in the way, but, like, even in Osu, I'm not really doing that big of, like, vertical movement, so it's just not a big deal. I know this is just kind of rambling all over the place and not really structured well, but I hope this this video could help you in your purchasing decision of the XD5 because... This is a really good mouse for the people that can fit it, which I think, you know, 18, 18 centimeter hands and higher probably won't work, but 17 and a half and the, and lower will work. And I mean, you can, you can try it with 10, but nine and a half and lower is probably better for the XD5. I don't know. It just works well. Um, you're not really required to subscribe to my channel because I don't make a lot of content. This is just something I really wanted to get off of my chest because a lot of people on the mouse review discord are clowning on this goddamn mouse. But yeah, uh, I'll probably add like a clickbait thumbnail or something. I don't know, man. And, uh. I mean, like if you liked it, I guess. And that's about it, really. I would say, I mean, I don't know. Is it going to be a next? Going to be a next review? Probably. Because I do want to review the, uh, the Hayate O2 X soft here as somebody who's had the original. But yeah. Yeah. See you later, man.